ever wondered how the science of life forms has evolved to the point where humans can manipulate it at will? Our story begins thousands of years ago, when our ancestors first started dabbling in the art of biotechnology without even knowing it. They began by harnessing the power of microorganisms to ferment foods, creating delicious delicacies like bread, cheese, and wine. This was biotechnology in its most basic form, a practice that still continues today in every kitchen around the world. As civilizations evolved, so did their understanding of the science of life. They started breeding livestock selectively, choosing animals with desirable traits to reproduce. This selective breeding was an early form of genetic manipulation, and it laid the groundwork for the complex field of biotechnology we know today. Fast forward to the 20th century, a time of explosive scientific discovery. It was in this era that scientists first discovered deoxyribonucleic acid, or DNA, the blueprint of life. This was a monumental achievement that revolutionized our understanding of life and its complexities. The discovery of DNA opened up a whole new world of possibilities. It was the birth of genetic engineering, a field that allows us to manipulate the genetic code of living organisms. Scientists began to experiment, modifying the DNA of bacteria to produce insulin, a life-saving drug for people with diabetes. This marked the beginning of a new era in medicine, where diseases could be treated at their genetic roots. As we moved into the 21st century, biotechnology continued to evolve at a rapid pace. Today, we have the power to edit genes, clone organisms, and even create synthetic life. These astounding achievements have been made possible by the tireless efforts of scientists around the globe who continue to push the boundaries of what's possible in this fascinating field. The journey from the rudimentary practices of our ancestors to the advanced genetic modifications of today has been a long and exciting one, and it's clear that this journey is far from over. As we look to the future, we can only imagine what incredible breakthroughs await us in the world of biotechnology. Stay tuned, because the story of biotechnology is still being written. But what happens when biotechnology escapes the confines of laboratories and becomes accessible to everyday people? This question led to the emergence of a groundbreaking movement known as biohacking. Biohacking, in essence, is the practice of modifying or manipulating one's own biology, often through DIY methods. Our story begins in the early 2000s with the rise of the DIY biology movement, a community of bioenthusiasts who began taking science into their own hands, and sometimes their own bodies. Fueled by curiosity and a desire to push the boundaries of what is possible, these early biohackers started experimenting outside of traditional lab settings. One of the pioneers of this movement was a man who decided to implant an RFID chip into his own hand. This small device, typically used for tracking packages or pets, gave him the ability to interact with technology in a new and personal way. He could unlock his front door or phone with just a wave of his hand, blurring the line between man and machine. But the experiments didn't stop at chips. Some biohackers ventured into genetic modification, tweaking their own DNA in hopes of enhancing their physical or cognitive abilities. These experiments were often risky, operating in a gray area of legality and ethics, but they highlighted the potential of biohacking, the ability to fundamentally alter our own biology. And then there were those like the glow-in-the-dark mice creators who genetically engineered mice to glow under UV light. This was seen as a milestone in the biohacking community, a testament to the possibilities that lay within our own DNA. However, it's important to remember that biohacking isn't just about flashy experiments and pushing boundaries. At its core, it's about democratizing science, making it accessible to everyone, not just those with PhDs or lab coats. It's about empowering individuals to take control of their own biology, to understand it, and potentially, to change it. Biohacking represents a new frontier, where science is not just for scientists. It's a movement that challenges us to rethink what is possible, to question the limits we've set for ourselves and our biology. And perhaps it's a glimpse into a future where we are all a little bit more than human. So where are we now in this fascinating world of biotechnology? We've come a long way since the genesis of this science, and today's biotechnology is nothing short of extraordinary. Take CRISPR, for instance. This powerful tool standing for clustered regularly interspaced short palindromic repeats has brought gene editing into a new era. With it, scientists can make precise changes to the DNA of humans, animals, and plants, opening up a realm of possibilities that were once the stuff of science fiction. And then there's the world of lab-grown meat, 
Another fascinating frontier in biotechnology today. Scientists can now grow meat from animal cells, without the need for raising and slaughtering animals. This could revolutionize our food systems, offering a more sustainable and humane alternative to traditional livestock farming. Imagine a world where your steak dinner doesn't come with a side of environmental guilt, but is instead a product of cutting-edge science. We can't talk about biotechnology today without mentioning genetically modified organisms, or GMOs. These are organisms whose genetic material has been altered using genetic engineering techniques. While controversial, GMOs have the potential to solve some of our most pressing problems. They could help us feed a growing global population, fight malnutrition, and adapt to climate change. Yes, biotechnology today is a whirlwind of innovation and potential. It's a field that's constantly evolving, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. But with these advancements come ethical questions and challenges. How do we ensure these powerful tools are used responsibly? How do we balance the potential benefits with the risks? These are questions that we'll continue to grapple with as biotechnology advances. But one thing is clear. Biotechnology has the potential to revolutionize our lives in ways we can't even imagine. And what about biohacking? How is this movement shaping up in the present era? Biohacking has indeed been making waves in our current society. There's been a boom in the commercialization of biohacking products, with companies offering everything from nootropic supplements for cognitive enhancement to genetic testing kits that allow users to peek into their DNA. This trend towards commoditizing biohacking has opened up a whole new world of possibilities, but it also raises some significant questions. There are ethical concerns to consider. Is it right to tamper with our biology in the pursuit of self-improvement? Where do we draw the line between enhancement and meddling with nature's design? And then there are questions of safety. Without proper regulation and oversight, biohacking can pose serious risks to individuals and society at large. Despite these concerns, interest in biohacking is on the rise in the public eye. People are more curious than ever about their own biology and are eager to take control of their health and well-being. This curiosity is driving a surge in DIY biohacking, with enthusiasts experimenting with everything from diet and exercise, to sleep and stress management, to more advanced techniques like gene editing. However, with this newfound power comes responsibility. It's essential that we approach biohacking with a sense of caution and respect for the complexity of the human body. Despite the controversies, biohacking continues to push the boundaries of what is possible with biology. The story of biotechnology and biohacking is a testament to human ingenuity and curiosity. From the genesis of biotechnology to the emergence and advancement of biohacking, we've journeyed through the transformative potential these fields hold. As we continue to push boundaries, we inch closer to unlocking the full potential of life itself. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of life, who knows what the future holds? If you found this video interesting, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and join the What's Good community. Stay tuned for more exciting content on the latest tech trends. This is What's Good, hope you enjoyed and come back for more.